Monica, can I get a little more makeup? Monica, makeup. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Night Vision UV 400 driving glasses. Now I got these for a couple reasons, but the main thing is this is very similar to tracking golf balls. Um, also, I don't necessarily like glare. And I know what you're all gonna probably hit me with if you're looking at this. Maybe you have a little bit of background and looking into these types of glasses. Um, technically, this isn't gonna help your driving at night, scientifically speaking, because uh, any amount of tint you put on glasses is supposed to reduce the amount of light you're getting to your face. But it's interesting, people claim that they actually can see better with these, even though um, scientists are saying, technically you can't. Now this symbol right here would make me believe that these are bulletproof. Um, it's actually saying it is blast resistant. Uh, I'm not sure if they can call it proof, since I'm sure there's some blast out there that could shatter these. Um, but, you know, kind of like a good pair of shooting glasses. And that's kind of where this comes down to, shooting, golfing, stuff like that. This is supposed to help you recognize uh, certain objects better, see better is the main claim. And of course, UV protection is nice, but all glasses these days tend to have some UV protection. The question really is, uh, can this actually help uh, see? And as you can see, there's obviously a clear difference in what you're gonna focus on. Let me kind of just show you the difference here, right? Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm gonna try it on because uh, the claim is it can reduce glare from cars at night. It can help you see better when you drive at night. Supposedly it's supposed to make it so you don't feel as fuzzy uh, vision with rain. Protects your eyes from sunlight, UV rays, all that. So let's give it a go. Let's give it a try. Get this sticker off at first. Honest impression of these. Now I will say this. Even if it is a lot of just personal recognition of benefits as opposed to real scientific benefits... If you can actually track a golf ball consciously better, that's the main point, regardless of whether a visual test is going to say your vision has improved. Um, driving at night, though, I'll be curious to see how these actually work. So let's take it out for a spin. Okay, dear God. It looks, it looks so bright with these on. It looks brighter with these on. Holy cow. It's like I walked into Willy Wonka's world. You gotta see this. All right, let's see if I can get this with the camera. Okay, normal. Of course, way different than the human eye. That's actually pretty accurate. That's kind of what it looks like to me. Yeah, more like, more like that. Now, the real question here is, do these make me look cooler, more goober? Okay, it kind of looks like I'm wearing safety glasses. That might be what they're actually going for. Overall, you know, everything's tinted yellow, of course. It makes everything feel a little bit softer. All right, here's a quick test to show you what these glasses do when it comes to lighting. So here's the indoor with a pretty bright light. You can just see it takes the edge off, right? Definitely gives it a tint. And here's a true test where they claim it's the nighttime vision that helps. Now the powers that be that control the universe here in my neighborhood have decided to put these extremely bright LED lights in. So considering this is a very small, small lens that I'm using, it's pretty bright. So there you go, glasses in front. And that kind of does it justice actually. That's really what's going on is uh it is just allowing a little less of that light tension to hit your eyes all right i tried it out a bit and i will say this it does work well it really makes you feel like you're getting less light uh especially at night you know where things can seem a bit bright to some people's eyes there is some debate on whether these actually help you see better saying that there's no scientific proof of that. Now I'd probably agree with them in saying that maybe it doesn't help you see better. The only con that they actually bring up that makes any sense is they say, if you're overconfident while you're driving at night, you may do some crazy stuff, but that's kind of a weak argument since a lot of discomfort in life really is the main point, right? That holds people back from doing things. So if you're going to drive crazy, you're going to drive crazy. Now with that in mind, 
whether this helps your vision truly or not, there's one thing it does very, very well, and it does help you see items very clearly, especially that are brighter colors. So these would work well for golfers, um, as the classic, you know, uh, adages with these types of glasses, you can see the ball a little bit better, at least depending if your eyes get caught to it a little bit easier, as far as a white streak in the air. And then for me, biking, I love biking, and these are the greatest biking glasses for nighttime and when it gets dark, because you can't wear the shades. Right? You got to wear something a little lighter, like these little guys. There you have it. It gets a thumbs up for me. I like them. I think uh, they're worth what they cost, and uh, they do the job well. Whether or not they help you drive at night, that's up for you to decide. Um, but for me, I do like them. I may not use them while I drive, but I will definitely use them when I'm riding my bike at night. Keep those bugs out of my eyes. I can't stand that. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. And tune in next time to Drive by Review. Thank <laughs> you.